Max, clearly you've gone through a lot of things throughout your life. You seem very, very grounded. You, that you have your head on your shoulders properly. Where, where does it come from? <laughs> it comes from, uh, you know, the, 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 the things that I saw growing up, uh, the, the things that I saw other people go through, not necessarily me go through. I saw people go through. And it comes from the, this, this crazy old lady called my grandmother and uh, this crazy old man called my grandpa, man. They, made, they always made sure they knew where I was from, you know. They always, they never gave us a lot, but then they never gave us too little. They always gave us just enough. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful for them, you know. Anything we needed, they got it for us, you know. And, uh, and what can I say? I was, I was blessed, you know. I'm, it's all in a nickname. I'm blessed, man. And uh, you got to thank my grandparents for real, man. They, they're the one that uh, molded me into this young man. Uh, my city, where I'm from, Waianae, Hawaii, molded me into this young man and all of Hawaii, you know, so uh, there's a bunch of people to give thanks for that. Uh, clearly they had uh, belief in you. Uh, did you always have belief in yourself? Man, if that's one thing growing up, I believed in myself. No matter what the hell I wanted to do, I told someone I was gonna. I told people I was gonna be a be a fireman, be a policeman. I thought ninth grade came. I told people I was gonna be a I was gonna be a professional baseball player. And then, uh, and then, uh, ten, and then, tenth grade came. I came a kickboxer. And I was telling everybody that I was going to be a K1, a K1 kickboxer. And then senior year came up. And I was telling everybody, I'm going to be a UFC fighter, you know. And, uh, and every single one, people laughed. Every single one. Someone laughed, you know. I can remember my, my senior year, my older brother, he's going to be up here. But uh, he, I told him, I, I was graduating. And uh, it was, I think, five days from graduation. He said, oh, what you going to do? He just came home. He just graduated from college. And then he's like, oh, what you going to do now? You're graduating. I told him, oh, I'm going to be a UFC fighter. And he laughed. And he said, ha, you better hurry up and find a job or go to a college because I don't know how long that's going to work out. And then uh, the same, uh, you know, a couple years later, that was 2009, uh, 2012, three years, fast forward. Uh, my son is born. Uh, uh, my son is born at 3 or 3 in the afternoon and at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning I get my UFC contract and the first, the first person I call is my brother. My older brother, I tell him, hey, guess what, I'm a UFC fighter and he just laughed and, you know, it's, uh, a lot of people are going to doubt you, you know, even your own family and, um, and sometimes it hurts but there's only one person that, that, that can really get you through everything and it's yourself, you know. If you start, if you start depending on people and you depending on them to believe in you, then you're doing it all wrong. You gotta believe in your damn self. That's when people start believing you. If when I, I tell people all the time, I, I'm not cocky. I'm confident. I'm fucking reeking it. You know, you want some confidence? Come around me. It's gonna flow on top of you, and that that's just how it is. You know, that's the way it goes. I think so. Uh, we need more confident people in this stuff. You know, in, in this world, we need we need more people to believe in themselves. Too much people is trying to be like, gimme, 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 hand on, hand on, hand on. I need you to do this. I need you to do this for me and do that. No, you need to do stuff for your own damn self. You know, and like. Just like the same thing, like people are like, aren't you mad that you wasn't getting a title shot for this long? Hell no, I wasn't mad, you know, you see don't owe me shit, you know, yeah, I'm doing it, but I'm going to do my damn thing until I get my belt, and I'm going to be in the same situation Demetrius, then be scratching their head and be like, who the, who the hell do we have next for this guy, you know? Who the frick is going to fight this guy? And, and that's their problem, it's not my problem, you know, so uh, that's what you got to do. They say it's, uh, it's not the destination, it's the journey. What, what has this journey taught you about yourself? Uh, I... Patience, man, and, and and my mind, you know, my mind. Uh, I guess I have a strong mind. A lot of people tell me, and uh, that's just what it is, you know. That uh, that this journey is showing me a lot of stuff, you know. Patience, my mind, my strength, uh, how to stay focused, and how to just enjoy the moment, you know. Live in this moment, you know. And people take this kind of stuff for granted, you know. And, and then when they get a little success, they start going overboard. They start thinking, oh yeah, this is this. Yeah, you know, the success, I can't celebrate the success until I'm done, you know. The work is not done. The work is never, ever done until I say and completely believe I retire, you know. And until that day, you know, I'm not going to ever, you know, take it for granted, you know. I'm going to keep on working my ass off. Like I said before, I'm 25. Most people fight to 35. Some blessed people fight a little bit more. And, uh, you know, it's like 10 to 13 year, more years of just hard work, grinding, and building my, building my legacy, building my bank accounts, and building all this stuff, and building... Uh, building hopefully hope in other people and changing people's lives and then you know when i'm 35 38 whatever and i decide to retire i hope i would like to live to like 70 or 80 you know hopefully a healthy 70 or 80 and uh i got that's so much that's like 30 years you know what i mean 20 something years of enjoying it and and i can talk about all my all my accomplishments then you know right now there's no time you know we gotta keep moving keep going on and uh always on to the next
do you enjoy this process, the, the process of getting ready for fights, constantly le uh, be learning, uh, the idea of you're going to be testing yourself, you're going to deal with damage. Do you like this entire process? I love the entire process. I love it, man. Uh, what do they say? They said uh, uh, diamonds are made under pressure, right? And uh, you guys are about to see a uh, you guys are about to see a diamond come December 10th. His name is Max Bless Holloway, you know, and uh, it's going to be a great one, man. I love every single thing of this, you know, the ups, the downs, the sweat, the tears, you know, the heartaches, and, and, and the freaking full-on hearts, you know, the happiness, the greatness, the sad days, the hard days, all everything, man. I love every single thing about this. I wouldn't trade my life for the world. Is it easy to get into that free-flowing state once you step inside of the cage, the door closes, or is that just your nature? Or do you, does it take you a while to get comfortable and say, okay, I get to be me now? Man, it's easy, man. You know, it's, it's going to be my 16th walk to the octagon, man. You know, and, and my last uh, UFC, uh, not my last one, actually, in my Jeremy fight when I was fighting him, I was actually singing with the crowd, you know, the freaking Ireland, uh, the Irish crowd. They were singing Ole, and I was singing Ole with them, and, I kind of caught myself. I was like, "Oh man, I'm I'm relaxed, man. Maybe a little too relaxed, you know." And but even UFC 199, man, I was in there. Everything was flowing. That was my night, and and I was just relaxed, man. I've been feeling so good in there. I've been hearing everything, seeing stuff so much better, and uh, it's been a blessing. Many fighters are looking for new experiences. Are you hoping to get a new experience uh, when you step into the cage with Anthony Pettis for him to uh, challenge you in, in areas you might not have been challenged before to grow as a fighter? Oh, yeah, yeah. Every single fight, you guys watch me grow as a fighter. You know, every single fight, you guys are like, oh, my gosh, I don't know how Max Holly can get any better. And I come on my next fight, it's like, holy shit, he did it, you know. And, and that's what I plan to do. I always plan to stay ahead of the pack. I always want to be ahead of, the, uh, ahead of, the, ahead of these guys, you know. It's, if you try to stay medium or you, you get left behind, bad stuff start happening to you. So, so yeah, I want to be ahead of the pack all the time and, uh, and, and you know, go out there and do the damn thing. Is, is this just another opponent for you, or do you believe that a guy like Anthony Pettis and the things he's been able to do in the WEC and in the UFC will draw out an even better Max Holloway? Yeah, you know, it's... I Man, I always, you know, you go watch my fights, man. I always uh, step up step up to the competition, step up to the level, you know, and it's that time, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, I respect the guy, I do it a lot, but, you know, he, he, got, he got to see me at the end of the night and... Uh, and we see what happens, you know. To me, I just think it's just another fight, you know. It's just another fight, you know. It's not much different from any other fight, you know. Yeah, we get a gold belt. Yeah, it's five rounds, but it's just another fight, man. You know, and this is what I do. This is what I was put on this earth for. And uh, you guys are going to be in for a real treat December 10th.